there are some pieces of oil that stand out from the canvas. It's just fun. At the ranch, I painted in another little house that was there. When we moved to town, I had to find a studio that really changed my outlook on things. And I painted flat, not upright, but flat. And that's when I could do a sort of a Pollock thing. He painted flat. And I would be able to drip and follow. Thinking of Pollock, Jackson Pollock. There were a few other painters that inspired me. Let's see, Jackson and Kandinsky and uh, Monet. I went to many workshops around the state. I always came away with some little thing that I thought would be good. But I'd get home and there'd be all my little babies and his children. So I never got around to it until maybe a week later. Those workshops were good for so many of us. And I got to know a lot of them painters around the state. In fact, we had a Wyoming Artists Association. As I say, we traveled around Alice Fuller, Bunny Canal, and I, and oh, Bertie Lund. She didn't paint, but she boosted us all. intended to paint more to get it all filled out. But a friend of mine was there and he said, stop, don't do anything more. Oh, okay, I didn't do anything more. My youngest son, Jamie, yeah, and he had a, uh, raincoat on. Everybody wore uh, that was horseback wore yellow raincoats that were kind of split up the back so that they could sit on the horse and have their legs covered. This right here is so important. And then signing it rather large, but it sets the painting down where it belongs. <laughs> yeah, goodness. I think it's the ultimate. Soumier, which is the blackest black, the whitest white, and every shade of gray in between. And paying attention to the white around it. This is called a chop. This was my mother's E.O.H. This was Daddy's, Joseph R. Hayden. So I put them together one way and then the other way and made it my own. I think 
it's on blotter paper. I was able to get some, and I liked them because they were large, and I could just do as I pleased. Um, this was the same brush that I could use in all the blues. And first, I splattered it with the orange, and then I ended up with a stick brush with black on it. I think that was a piece of bamboo I brought from the Philippines. I wonder where that stick is. Yeah, splash. Just fun. I have no concept of what lies beyond death. I do know that all of life is an adventure, made up of good deeds and misdeeds, mistakes and corrections, safe middles. Relationships with all kinds of people throughout life are among its greatest adventures. I have wallowed in the seas of despond. I know the terrifying and destructive nature of jealousy. I have known the passion of hatred, which has nothing to do with I hate this furniture or I hate this food. I have yelled like a fishmonger's wife and sung lullabies to my babies and rubbed the backs of children and grandchildren of all shapes and ages. I know anger in all its intensity and the pure joy of being alive with the untold riches of a good and eventful life, a remarkable husband and exceptional children. I have longed for rest and oblivion and have been thrilled by the stunning sunsets of the world. <laughs>